Hey guys, I'm here with my new Maxim 50 from Silencer Co. Uh, it's their new integrally suppressed muzzle loader, 50 caliber. Uh, currently it's 42 state legal. I've shot it. It's fantastic. I already have a suppressed muzzle loader. And I'm just going to talk to you about this one right here. What it comes with, why it's such a good deal. Let me get into it. Start with the actual case that it comes in. So this is for the first 3,000 sold. It has embroidery all over it. So right there. Let's go to Maxim 50. Of course, front. there extremely padded and you can tell this is padded as well it's got rubber on the sides and it's got a Maxim logo on the bottom it has two pockets in the front this is where all the accessories come in and the user manual I've taken all those accessories out so I can show you. So let's unzip this, this box here. It's also padded on the inside. And this is the new Maxim 50. This is this host is from a company called Traditions. It's an inline muzzle loader in 50 cal that has had a moderator welded on by Silencer Co. And it's on to go put their, their logos on both sides of the receiver. It's extremely easy to work. Um, just a modern muzzle loader, basically. To open the action, you just press on this little button right here. Pops right open. There's your breech. This is where you put the primer. So when you go to fire it, after everything's been loaded, Close it up, press this button up, and now you check this trigger out. Amazing trigger. This is a decocker right here. Also, let me push it back. Takes it back. So the Maxim comes with everything you see here except the obviously the optic, and it doesn't come with this rail. This rail I purchased from a company called EGW and it just mounts right in. Just fantastic little little firearm there. The Maxim 50 can be shipped to your door if you live in one of the 42 free states. Currently it's not uh, available for sale in California, New York, New Jersey, Delaware, Rhode Island, Hawaii, Illinois. I'm sure there's one or two extra ones in there. Now I'm going to go over what it comes with. Oops. So it comes with a ramrod, but this is a modular ramrod. You just screw these in together. Sonsco has videos on maintenance and cleaning, but I'm going to just touch on it very lightly. Has the handle. And it has two loading jacks. So one of the great things about this whole package is that when you're getting into muzzle loading, you don't get all this stuff. You have to learn that you need this stuff and go find it and go to different websites. Sonsco provides just about everything you need to get started. So I'm just going to grab one of the loading jacks and just screw it in to the smaller hole. This loading jack is for compressing powder and compressing the projectile into the barrel. Now, just from personal experience using this, sometimes these get stuck and there's no flats. So you can either do one of two things. You can either put a little grease 
for anti-seize or you can just carefully just drop it. So you drop it, come as free. Alright, that's one tool out of the way. Let me go grab another one. Comes with the bullet starter. Handle's also removable. And here you put in the other loading jack. Comes with a loading tube. And now this is something different. This is something you probably haven't seen if you're into muzzle loading. So when you load into a normal muzzle loader, you're loading straight into the barrel. But now you have a moderator on there. So you have to bypass all those baffles. So you just stick it in there. It stops on the muzzle. Now it's easy to load and unload. Or no, it's easy to load and bypass all that stuff. Some more accessories. It comes with an acrylic powder measure and a brass powder measure and this one's adjustable so I mean that's that's awesome I mean it comes with both I'm gonna show you something that doesn't come with that I recommend you get regardless if you're getting a Maxim 50 or another muzzleloader it's a powder flask so I'm just gonna pour a little in here so you just see what your measure is and you're just gonna press this button and I'm just gonna just put a little bit in there Now I'm just going to empty that out over here, nice and safe. Okay, so these only a couple bucks, well worth it. Basically, you bypass needing this. Even if you had this, it's a, it's not the easiest thing to get the powder in there and not spills. With the flask, you don't spill anything, but you get both. Let's see what are the tools. So these. Right here, you get three of them. So if you have the charge you like, you can have them three ready to go. You just seal them up, you got three charges. Comes with a brush kit, some nylon, some popper, little thin one. So you get these four brushes, excellent for cleaning the, the barrel out. And then you get a normal, just little brush brush. Let's see what else. You get a tool to help you tighten or uh, loosen the breech plug. There you go. And then you get a tool to help you remove primers. Uh, something else you get. Sorry. We gotta reach a little bit. You get breech plug grease, easy clean from uh, traditions. These little pads here, they're coated so you can uh, both clean and season your barrel. And you get a nice bag of wipes, just clean wipes, patches, I mean patches, clean patches. Of course you get an owner's manual. And in that manual, they recommend different uh, different uh, projectiles and some ammo. So before I used to shoot Pyrodex, I will never shoot Pyrodex ever again after shooting this stuff. So this is what Sonsicle recommends. This is uh, Blackhorn 209. This stuff is non-corrosive and it shoots so clean. So with my Pyrodex, with my other muzzle loader I have, I load around, fire it, and I get away with loading another round. And after that, it'd just be a chore to clean it, or just to put another projectile in. You'd have to clean, clean, clean. Um, the other night, I went through, I believe it was 11 rounds. No, I, yeah, 11 rounds without needing to clean, like smooth as a baby. And it, Maximum 50 is actually extremely easy to clean because of this stuff right here. It doesn't have that crazy rotten egg smell. It has a little smell. But it's nothing like black powder. 
and I made the mistake of using these muzzle loader primers. They work in my 45. These do not work with uh, Blackhorn 209. So I went to Bass Pro and for about five bucks, I think it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. I got these Shot Shell Magnum primers. They work flawless. Let's see another tool. This to disassemble the foreign and take apart the barrel. And this little guy is pretty cool. I didn't even have one of these clean the breech plug. You see that? It's awesome. So literally Maxim 9 or Maxim 9, the Maxim 50 comes with all this. I mean minus the primers, the projectiles, and the powder and the rail. Also they recommend either Hornady or this Federal Premium ammo right here. Shoots great. Basically, they don't want you shooting stuff where the wad comes off. Oops. So even though this has a type of wad, it doesn't really remove itself from the projectile. Try to hold it. With this, the actual casing here, the wad actually goes over the 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 bore and it locks it in so that those are really good and very accurate rounds. Kind of pricey. I'm going to try the Hornady next. Uh, they're just, just a straight projectile. Now let's get into how do you actually use this. So if you've never used one of these, it's fairly simple. Obviously you make sure that this is not loaded. There's two ways to know if it's not loaded. One is you can make a mark on your ramrod. I'm getting ahead of myself here. So to do anything with the Maxim 50, you need that in there. And when the first time you do this, you're going to have a little powder and a projectile in there. And this will stop at a certain place. So you can mark that off right there where that stopping point is. So you'll always know so you don't have to squib. The squib means your barrel blows up if you shoot it again. Now the way easily you just take the breech out. And you just look down the barrel. You see you see light, you're good to go. Basically what this is, this is where your primer goes in that hole and you probably won't be able to see it there but it's just a small little tunnel for that charge to go from here to where the black powder is sitting. So I'm going to give you a dramatization on how to actually work this. Once you know it's unloaded, get in there, it stops on the muzzle. Pretend this is full of my charge of powder. Pour it in. Take your ramrod. Push it in there, nice and compact. Take the ramrod out. Now, I am going to push this projectile in there. There's no powder, there's no primer. Drop it in, it's going to stop right here. This is where you get the starter. Then you finish up again with the ramrod. Once it's seated, take the ramrod out. Take the loading tube out, pop it open, and drop a primer in there. But I'm not going to do that. I am going to take that projectile out for you. 
Remember, these projectiles do not have black powder in, or any type of powder in them. So they are not going to do anything. There you go. Fell out. Good as nail. If the breech gets stuck for whatever odd reason, this is where you take this tool and you can just do that. Take it off. And I'll show you that other little tool right here. Close that up. So if you have misfire, your, your primers are popping. So basically the primer goes off and nothing else goes off. Grab this guy and make sure he's clean in there and there's no moisture. Moisture stops black powder from working. Clean up. You should be able to see a perfectly good hole straight through. If that doesn't alleviate the issue and the powder is not wet, then you may be using some weak or bad primers. And this grease right here goes here, just a little bit here. I'll show you another little thing. I'm going to talk a little bit about cleaning, clean the barrel. You can take this barrel off, but I find it just so much easier just to open it up like this and just set it on a table or a desk, just like this right here sitting on this it makes it life a lot easier so with the patches whether using the clean patches whether using the seasoning patches or whether using one of the multiple brushes that they provide you're gonna grab your ramrod put the appropriate piece on the end, whether it's the brush or the jag with the, with the patch. And you're going to go push it through. With the patches, you're going to have some pressure. And I may just demonstrate that for you right now. When taking it out, I found, at least with mine, i got to put a slight downward pressure because it kind of gets stuck on the baffles a little bit. Kind of hard. There you go. Doesn't damage them, but if you try to pull it straight out, you're gonna go. T -t 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 -t. That's not fun. So give me a second here, and I'll try to push a patch through. Now I cleaned it somewhat, so it may still be a little dirty. If you're curious on how to clean the actual moderator. Just get some really hot water, pour it down, pour it through, remove, completely remove the barrel from the, from the muzzle loader, and pour water down, do it the other way, do it the other way, and the actual baffles will look brand new. So take this, and you're going to push it through. Now you're going to find some pressure right there because it's extremely tight. And you don't have to worry about that patch falling in the actual can. See, it's still a little dirty. I've tried it tons of times with both patches and I have not had it get stuck in there no matter what. So again, a little downward pressure. Gotta find that little sweet spot. Let me show you how to take off the actual barrel with the included Allen wrench. Pop 
that off. Okay. Comes right off. So this is all what I was saying. You can just pour that hot water in, hot water in, and wash it out. When you're done washing your barrel, and you don't have to do this very often, like run a patch through when you're done shooting, clean it up, clean the actual barrel. But as far as cleaning this, you don't have to worry about that very often. And when you do, when you're finally done, just set it standing like this somewhere so all the water could drain out of the baffles. Or if you have an air compressor, you could compress it out because you don't want water falling into your breech or into this guy. Pops right in. Pops right in. It has two swivel mounts. Let's see. Covered. I think that's pretty much it from now. Um, I'll say about posting some uh, some clips of me shooting this with different grains. I guess I could talk that, about that for a second. So, with the 209 Black Hornet powder, they recommend 100 grains. So that's right here. 100 grains of black powder. So a lot of people like to load their, their ammo subsonic. Well, you can do that with this. You can load 100 grains, 95 grains, 75 grains, 65 grains, 50 grains. Um, if you want to get real low, just do like I did, like how I did with my other muzzle loader. When you're shooting the low, just take the breech out every time. After you've shot it, make sure the projectile has left the barrel. And just be conscious of, of that. So if you're hunting with this, I suggest you stick with the higher end of uh, powder. Um, because subsonic ammo, while it's fun, and I love shooting subsonic ammo, if you're trying to take down some game, some medium size or large game, uh, you need to have some velocity behind behind this. At full power, it's 139 decibels, which is really not that bad. It's below hearing safe, barely, but it's it doesn't, I don't know how to describe it to someone who hasn't shot suppressed before, but it doesn't sound that bad. It has an amazing tone to it. And uh, so in this, in these clips, uh, hopefully I'll be able to put on the end of this. I'll be shooting 50 grains, 60 grains, 70 grains, and 90 grains. I didn't get to 100 grains because I was shooting indoors. And at 90 grains, it was getting uh, a little, a little, little, little rough indoors. Uh, but that's it for now guys. If you have any more questions on the Maxim 50, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, it's easier to reach me at my Instagram page at silencers underscore 1909 and I'll have all the videos and stuff for this. And also don't forget to go to silencerco.com and the Silencerco uh, YouTube page. They have really in-depth good videos on how to do maintenance and clean and all the good stuff. So thank you for watching. You have a great one.